So today we're going to convert temperature. Um, there are a few different formulas you could use to convert temperature. Um, this video is using the algebraic uh, equation to solve the formula. So this one equation will solve for both Celsius to Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit to Celsius. Um, a student a long time ago came up with a saying to help her remember this and it's stupid but it'll help um, remember it but her saying was um, let's get a pen uh, so it was nine cats and the C where the stood for the cats um, swallowed five fish and lost 160 pounds I'm writing it as I'm saying it, sorry. 160 pounds. It Again, it's very stupid, but it's a way that a student tried to remember it. So again, it was nine cats swallowed is the equals um, five frogs and lost 160 pounds. Okay. So using this formula, um, I've got 50 degrees Celsius, but I want to know what Fahrenheit is. So I'm going to plug the 50 in where the Celsius is. So I'm going to plug it in for C. So I'll get 9 times C, which is 50, equals 5F minus 160. And this is algebra, so the only thing I can do now is multiply. So 9 times 50 is 450, equals 5F, just bring everything else straight down, minus 160. Okay. Now the only thing else I can do is move the 160 to the opposite side. So to do that you have to do the opposite math. So I'm going to add 160 to both sides. Add 160. Okay. So here I get 450 plus 160 and I believe that's 610 equals 5F. And of course a negative 160 and a positive 160 cancel each other out. And then the last step is to divide by both sides by 5, so that you'll have the F all by itself. So uh, I think it's 122, but let's double check. 610 divided by 5. 122, and so F, uh, where is it? F right here, so F equals, F equals 122 degrees okay and one way to check yourself is you know that Celsius is colder than the Fahrenheit so the Celsius number should be smaller than the Fahrenheit number okay so let's do going the other direction and so this time I have 50 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius so this time I know what F is so I'm gonna plug F in or 50 where the F is so then I write everything. So I've got 9C equals 5 times F. Um, I put, I don't really like the parentheses, so I put a time sign. Minus 160. Okay. Now you'll have to do your order of operations because, oh, I'm sorry, I did a mistake there. I apologize. 5 times, go back, 5 times 50. My apology, I wrote 160 twice because 50 is F. Minus 160. Okay, so now you have to do order of operations. So the only thing I can do right now is multiply. So 5 times 50 is 250. Minus 160, bring everything else straight down. So 9C equals all that. Now the only thing left I can do right here is to subtract. So 950 minus 160 should be 90. Bring everything else straight down. And so 9C equals 90. The last step is divide both sides by 9. And then I get Celsius equals 10 degrees. And again, you can check yourself. The Celsius number should be smaller than the Fahrenheit number. Okay. So again, this was converting temperature using the algebraic equation of 9C equals 5F minus 160.